Hey guys, it's Julia from ojuliaand.com. So today I'm gonna go over three different necklaces that you can easily make at home with suede cord. These projects are so simple, like maybe so simple you're gonna watch this and go, why did you even need to make a video? Um, because stores are still selling necklaces that are this easy and you can make them at home in like literally minutes. So let's do it. All right, let's start really easy. I have a piece of suede cord here that's the same size as my neck plus a few inches to be able to tighten a knot at the end. And then here I have a decorative button. You can also use a charm, really anything that you think would be cute on a necklace, but you wanna make a little more trendy or updated. So painfully simple here, you are just going to put it onto the cord. And ta-da, you have a choker necklace. This sounds so simple. Why am I even telling you this? Because I bought a necklace very similar to this at a very popular store. <laughs> And then realized when I was leaving, why why did I buy this? I could make this in 20 seconds. So don't do what I did. Make it at home. Be smarter. See, so easy and really cute. I like it a lot. All right, so for this necklace, you're going to take one necklace charm that is pre-designed. I find these on clearance at Michael's all the time. I just never know what to do with them until now. And then two pieces of suede cord that are cut to the same length. You're gonna want this to be pretty long, um, I used all of the cord that came in this kit in this color and then just cut it in half. You're gonna find the middle, loop it through, and end up like this. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Find your middle. Loop it through. And then pull the ends in the loop. So what you end up with is this charm with two long pieces of suede, each with two open ends. You can then use these ends to wrap it into um, really any kind of choker style that you like. All right, for this project, we are going to take a long piece of suede, one button that has a loop on the back, not the kind with holes, and two beads. And we're gonna make a bolo tie. So what you will do to create your bolo tie, you will find your ends of your cord and fish them through your button. Now you want it to be a little tight, so hopefully this part doesn't happen too easily. But for me to get this to fit, once I fit the first piece of suede in, I have to pull it really tight to be able to get the second piece of suede to fit. And I don't know if I can even do this facing this way. There we go. So if it was really easy, your bolo tie would come off. This might be a little tricky, but it's worth it. So then what you have is your button, a loop, and two ends. Don't let your beads roll away. <laughs> and so now you're going to pull your button up so that your ends are exposed. And then just simply put one bead on each end and tie it into a knot. Ta-da, very easy. And here we go. So simple. So what you end up with is a very simple bolo tie with the slider and then bead tassels at the end. Ta-da! Very exciting, huh? See, and we did this together in only a few minutes with zero jewelry making ability and some super cheap materials. For more jewelry tutorials, both this easy and much more complicated, head over to ojuliaand.com. Bye, thanks for watching.